It's time for us to take a look at some of our favourite moments on DXB Today. Don't go anywhere. Welcome to DXB Today, the show that keeps you in the know on everything new happening in the city. We love our food, we love our events, sports and celebrities. To be honest, we pretty much love it all. Right you are, Nimi. Now, let's not forget we love our guests and hearing interesting stories as well. But today, we're trying something just a little bit different because as you can see in the studio, we don't have one, two, not even four, but five DXB presenters. And what a five presenters it is as well. <laughs> <laughs> we are indeed, Faris, because today we're taking a look at some of the most unique spots in the city. And at the top of my list is Aya Universe. We will be looking at it later in the episode. And if we're not talking about things that we love, we're talking about things that we adore. And music and dance is one of the biggest things for me. And we're going to be ending the show today with a very special performer. And don't be surprised if he walks away with a few new backing dances. <laughs> I don't know what they put themselves up for. It's sounding like quite a party already. But before we get to that, we'd love to have our finger on the pulse of the city so that you know what to check out and when. If you're looking for a new experience, stay tuned because we got you covered. Right, guys, what has caught your eye? Lane Redman. Ah, well, do you know what? I'm a bit nostalgic. I've been here for years. Mm. Uh, I went for a drive down the beach road. Mm. I remember back in the day when it was two lanes. Now Same. it's <laughs> extension and, and you've got all of these new places opening. So I just went for a drive and had a look at all the new places opening up and it was, yeah, it was pretty cool. Nice. Lovely. What about you guys? Anything? I'll tell you what, I this is a first. I've been to Al Fahidi Historical District before. But I never actually took the Abra across. And it's a very simple experience, but it's mm -hmm. really, really nice. Just, yeah. You feel like you're in old Dubai. Uh, you can haggle. I haven't haggled in a while. <laughs> so I did haggle. Do you remember when they tried to increase the price from a dirham? Yeah. Furious. Yeah. For what? For, for, for kind of check? Yeah. yeah. No, for, to cross well, on the Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah. That, that did not go down I paid two dirhams. Well. Was I not supposed to? <laughs> 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 didn't, didn't haggle very well. <laughs> yeah, well, look, we want you to tell us where we need to check out as well. So hashtag DXB today. Tag us. Us, let us know what's going down in the city and we'll be sure to check it out. Did you tag us, Nimi? Mm, I do. I always do. <laughs> <laughs> what were you up to? What have you, what have you been up to lately? I um, I loved Coca-Cola Arena. Mm. I, like, I'm so excited about the music programmes, the, the international celebrities Like we're always bringing in. Yeah. I feel so special when they come mm. here because it's not usually on people's tours. That's true. Yeah. yeah, It's the way forward. Ahmed, I'm going to sure. delve deeper into what you've been up to as well a little bit later. Now, when you think about the Museum of the Future, the most beautiful building in the world, you're probably thinking innovation and technology. But how many of you think of an oasis? Believe it or not, it exists right in the heart of the museum. And if you don't believe me, you can check out my recent visit where I had to be very quiet. And as you probably guessed, I am at the Museum of the Future. Now, there's more to the Museum of the Future than you probably first thought. How do you fancy some ultrasonic therapy, perhaps some meditation, or even a virtual sand bath? Well, I'm going to show you how. Come with me. Located on the third floor of the museum, the Al Waha Zone, or Oasis, is an immersive sound, light, and sensory spa. You'll see fluid visuals and relaxing soundscapes that make it feel like you're walking through water. The feeling therapy chamber uses hands to explore ultrasonic audio and sound energy. But my favorite space was a chanting chamber channeling healing sounds. Al Waha sits in the heart of the city as a center of wellness and mindfulness. 
I have had the most incredible time here at Al Waha. Now, this is an entire level at Museum of the Future. You don't need to book any separate tickets or anything. You can come on your own or with a small group and really experience everything it has to offer. I feel very rejuvenated. But although it's included in your entrance fee, you must book online because they are really busy. Make sure you head online to museumofthefuture.ae. I've said it before and I will say it again. Katie Overy, I've never seen you so quiet. I tell you what, <laughs> you're right though, because I walked in and I was like, this is amazing. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice in there. How but many like, times were you told to be quiet? No. <laughs> yeah. A few. Um, <laughs> have you been there? It's so yes. zen and amazing. I've been over the weekend and honestly, the place is amazing. It's very quiet and calming mm. and you just feel like you've in, you're in a complete different world. You yeah, do. I definitely feel like more and more places in the city are really catering to that wellness mm -hmm. kind of sector, to our wellness being. I really love it. Yeah, exactly. So there's, I mean, there's so many. I, I did yoga at. Uh, I can't remember the name of the tower now, but the view across the palm mm. was just amazing. And again, I'm not like a zen sort of person. Mm. Really. I'll tell you what's really zen is walking through Glow Park on a school night. Because <laughs> the kids aren't there. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> There's fewer children there. It's yeah. just really nice in the dark and everything. Mm. You know? Your idea of zen is so bizarre, <laughs> right? I'll tell you what, there's a place called Seba restaurant so nice it's so nice oh. you sit down on the ground you're eating the, the atmosphere it's healthy food yeah. it's fresh there's lots of vegan yeah. options as well yeah, so new, definitely they've changed the name they've mm. changed the name of it it used to be an old place before oh. it's just around the corner from where i live actually oh, there you go. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. That's my local. doing well <laughs> Speaking of new experiences, I recently tried out my first ever ice bath. I have to say it was a little bit challenging, a little bit cold, but I know it has loads of benefits and is really popular in Dubai at the moment. So someone else who also just had their first experience is Amy. Only her ice bath came to her. Let's take a look. in the studio it's Amy here and I am all prepped and ready for thriving Thursdays because today I'm going to be trying out ice baths and I know what you're thinking ice baths are very popular right now but the ice bath that I'm going to be trying out is a little bit unique because it's in a truck yes that's right this is a portable ice bath that comes to you so I'm going to be trying it out later and getting my chill on but before I do that I'm going to have a little chat with Laura so today I'm going to be trying out the ice baths yes. in your wonderful truck. Yes. So can people invite the truck to come to their house and they can try it themselves from yeah. the comfort of their own home garden? Absolutely. That's why we kind of came up with this concept and we're the first actually um, from our research, the first in the world, maybe even, especially without ice. So. People can hire the truck to, for events, their personal use, for parties, for anything. So I'm already scared because I am not a fan of the cold. That's why I moved to Dubai. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so you've got to tell me, what are the health benefits? of doing some ice baths. So what's going to win me over and make me want to keep coming back? If we start from the top, mindset. It helps a lot of people with their mindset, their productivity. Body-wise, brings down inflammation, so it helps you to repair muscles. Now, you don't have to be a gym goer. You can just be a general human being. Amazing. So one thing that I did notice when I had a little peek at the truck yeah. is there's no ice mm -hmm. in the ice baths. Yeah. Can you explain to me how it works then? Yeah. So basically being um, in the recovery industry, you see ice baths everywhere. You know, you, you lug the ice. So we've, you know, this concept, we didn't design this concept. It's, it's actually ancient, like very, very old, but we've, we've attached it to a technology base. So a machine, a generated a refrigerated machine will cool the water. Um, to the desired temperature so we can control the temperature but the good thing about it is there's a constant flow of the same degree so ice melts you get ice burns it changes it differs at different levels with this as a flow kind of like a river so when you're in the water your body doesn't have the energy capacity to heat that up well I'm here in the ice truck ready to take the plunge so I don't know if you can see but there are four tubs here which are full of ice cold water and I'm going to be getting in this tub right now. I am beyond nervous. Wish me luck. <laughs> oh. 
slow yourself down in. Slow and controlled. Exhale. Oh Don't no. hold your breath. Let it all out. All this frustration, all the anxiety. It's because I'm the new girl. I know why you're doing this. Well, as you were aware, I was super nervous about mm -hmm. jumping into the ice bath. Cold is not my friend. But actually, after spending some time in there, I feel so much better. Yeah. And I definitely can understand about what you were saying about feeling a lot calmer, mm -hmm. feeling, uh, having that clarity. Yeah. And actually, I feel really energized. Yeah. I, feel, I feel a little bit giddy yeah. right now. <laughs> There's actually two types of people that, are, that, that, that vibe with this. Either it makes you really tired because you, you use a lot of energy or it vamps you up, you know? So you <laughs> clearly are one of those people, which is awesome. Well, that was absolutely amazing. What an experience. I'm not going to lie. I was a little bit nervous at first dipping into that ice cold water, but I've come out feeling refreshed and revived. Do you guys in the studio want to try an ice bath? Well, you're in for a treat because I've organized ice baths for you all. <laughs> if you, our viewers at home, want to try an ice bath, don't forget to contact Longevity Sports. You won't regret it. Wow, I have to big up Amy for that. I done my first ice bath a couple of days ago and it is definitely very, very challenging. So congratulations, Amy. <laughs> so when we get back, don't go anywhere because we're going to be taking you in another universe. Welcome back. We are checking out some of the newest experiences in the city and sharing some of our favorites. Maytha recently explored Worthy's brand new interactive universe called Aya. It has 12 experience zones spread over 40,000 square feet and is simply stunning. But you don't need to take my word for it. You can take a look yourself. Hey guys, I'm at Aya Universe, a beautiful digital immersive experience where I'll be launched from Earth to outer space. I'm going to be exploring 12 different chambers of worlds never seen before. But before I make that trip, I need my wristband, I need my passport that to all things that is Aya, and my trusty guardian who will be taking me through this journey. Are we ready? Wow, can you believe the space I am in right now? Look at it. It's so beautiful, all with the light, the tree, the flowers, so immersive, so meditating. I just took a break from exploring the wonderful world of Aya Universe because I am here with Alexander Heller, the CEO and founder of Hyperspace, the creator behind the beautiful universe that is Aya Universe. So Alexander, if people, like, it's a long experience that we go through in this journey that is Aya Universe, but if we have to pick three or the five top experiences, what would it be? Of course. So, I mean, I think that, you know, there are, like I said, 12 zones in Aya. There are three that really stand up for me that marry kind of technology, experience, content creation of an immersive environment, you know, above all. Number one for me is Flora. Flora is made up of 750,000 fiber optic strands, all reactive. Flora, it goes from morning to night. It is about an eight minute piece of content, so it really plays like a show. Uh, in addition, I would say I love Tides. Tides is the sort of room that experienced designers normally don't try to build, but it's okay. very ambitious. It's made up of 52 um, LED totems and a reactive center totem in the middle. Oh, if I have to choose a final room, I would say Celestia is fantastic. Uh, Celestia is a 14-minute piece of content. It's absolutely fantastic, highly interactive piece of content as well. Amazing. I can't wait to jump back in and explore more, but tell, the, tell us, who can visit this space? Oh, it's, 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 there's no very specific demographic. I would say that it's great for kids all the way to adults. We have, you know, young children running around. We have nine-year-olds walking through the space. I think that, you know, it's inspiring for all ages. Well, I know where to take my nephews next time. So thank you so much, Alexandra, for this. And I can't wait to go back into the space. So I finally finished experiencing the beautiful world of Aya Universe. And what a world that is. You don't want to miss it. 
lucky Mather. Now, I've always wanted to do that. Have you been there? Has anyone been there? I've seen a lot of pictures online and the place looks amazing, honestly. And it feels like it's coming out of an Avatar movie. <laughs> I love it. I love the fact that it's a Wuffy. Mm. You know, like, I love the fact that Wuffy's doing things and going, hey, 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 we've been around for ages. Yeah. We've got some really cool stuff going on. It's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, that bit, taking us back to Glow Park, but it's <laughs> really, really nice. And it reminded me a bit about some of the pavilions at Expo 2020. Yeah, that's true, actually. And, and the, just our city is just full of, like, selfie spots. Yeah. I was at Dining on the Sky. Dining nice. on the Sky. I've never I mean, done that. Is it worth it? It doesn't get better than a selfie just with everyone below you. Are you joking? <laughs> that's amazing. But what if you drop your phone. I mean, it's worth it, isn't I it? I tell you what, my favourite selfie that I took recently, I was actually with Lane, we were at the Green Planet, and I got a selfie with one of the lemurs, just oh, right behind me. Oh, that's I doesn't love get that. better than that. <laughs> Do you want to know where my favourite selfie spot is? Was it with me? At home. Oh. So, <laughs> <laughs> however, someone who has perfected her selfies is DXB Today presenter Dina Butti. But if you need some help getting that special snap, she has obviously found just the place. A 21,000 square foot museum dedicated to taking selfies? Yep, welcome to 3D World Dubai, the Selfie Museum. Featuring 185 reality-defying artworks and you get to be the star of each one of them. Let's check it out. As the largest 3D museum in the world, there's more to 3D World DXB than just reality-defying artworks. With nine different zones to explore, there's also an interactive gallery that speaks to everyone's inner child. It's open every day and is a great spot for kids and adults. And to make sure you get the best photographs possible, check out the examples they have on the wall and look out for the foot placement signs they have on the floor for the perfect spot to stand. Well, you know, if there's one thing I recommend before you make your way over to 3D World Dubai, it's to make sure your device is fully charged because you're even taking a whole lot of photos. Now I'm going to say bye because I'm actually getting a little nervous up here. It's, it's a lot higher than I expected. Okay, bye guys. And then yeah. you take selfies with your friends and they look very small and you look oh, huge. Yeah. So you need well. friends? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, a out there. Yeah. I'm a sucker for those rooms where it's like you take the picture and then you flip it and it looks like you're upside down. <laughs> yeah. No matter where I see one, I can't get enough of it. Oh, wow, Paris, whatever you're into. <laughs> uh, right, when we are back, we've got something extra special lined up with none other than Bollywood sensation Hardy Singh. Katie's very excited. We'll see you in a bit. And we're back and we're with Dubai-based entrepreneur, dancer and founder of Pure Bangra. Mr. Hardy Singh is in the house. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me here. So tell me a little bit about what Pure Bangra is. Pure Bangra is a Dubai homegrown team, Bangra team. It's a dance form from the north of India, from Punjab. And you might be popularly knowing it. So that's us. That music is totally us, and uh, we do Pangra in the Middle East. Amazing, and how long have you been doing it for now? I've uh, been doing it since childhood because it's in the blood, but officially the team was formed in 2011. And how and is everyone from the north of India? Do you have quite no, a diverse it's, group? It's, it's a diverse group. It's a diverse group in terms of ethnicity and also in terms of their work profession. Some are students, some work, different age groups. Everyone just all together for love of Pangra. And yeah. Amazing. So tell us a little bit about it. Can people join and take classes or is it sort of an established group that goes and performs? Yeah, we do a couple of things. One is uh, we have a sole established group that do performances, weddings and uh, shows, music videos, films, everything. And then we also provide dance classes in multiple locations in Dubai. Okay, I'm glad to see you're in the sneakers. You're just in a simple top. You don't have to wear anything special to do this kind of dancing. Uh, no, you can start anywhere, anytime on any music. All right. Well, I've got these shoes on. I hope the rest of the presenters have got some suitable clothing on because if it's all right with you, Mr. Hardy Singh, yeah. I would like you to teach us how to dance a certain move. This is usually where we get the performers to perform and we yeah. just watch, but this time I think we're going to get involved. Guys, do you want to come and join me? Yeah, oh, let's yeah. do this. Stage, Lane, so Nimi, Katie, Ahmed. I can't wait. Oh, you're just sitting? Right. All right. Yeah, he's in the kandura. I probably can't <laughs> do it. Well, <laughs> oh, listen, yeah, I've got... Hello, What's up? Hello, Sastrikal. What's going on, man? Yeah, no, so really? I love the merchandise. All right, let's yes. have you in the middle. Yeah, okay. So very simple bit. Everyone on your toes. 
ठीक है एंड विद लेफ्ट लेग वी टैप ट्वाइस वन टू वन टू कम ऑन थ्री फोर इजी वन या वन टू वेरी गुड ऑल राइट नाइस वन जस्ट लीव योर लेग्स डाउन हैंड्स आउट या एंड देन गो वन टू एवरीवन स्माइल आई कैन डू दैट या एंड यू कैन गो लाइक होय 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 Hey, all right. Let's try something else with the legs, yeah. And oh. we use hands at the same time. Hands out here, fingers up, yeah. And we're gonna hit our shoulders up. So you're gonna go one, two, one, two, and let's go left, right, oh. left, right. Come on, guys. One, two, three, four. I'm so happy four. right now. Yeah. <laughs> one, two. Nice one. Let's try one more move. Yeah, one more move. Okay, third one. With the legs, we'll just kick. You're like kicking a football, okay? okay. Twice with the left side. One, two, and then. Two eyes. Yeah, oh good. Go. Oh my Hands God. out, out, <laughs> out. Nice one. One, two, three, four. Wow, guys. Do you guys want to join my team now? Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah. Do you How want us to join you your team? team? Yeah, yeah. Uh, anytime, anytime, anytime. Yeah, you guys are amazing. Well, look, that's all from us today. We need to practice our moves, I think, for sure. But we are going to leave that's you it. with the incredible Hardy Singh. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. Ajo. <laughs> ਕੋਈ ਕੱਟ ਦੀ ਪਸੰਦ ਕੋਈ ਨੇੜੇ ਮਿਲਦੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਉਂਦੀ ਬੀਕਾ ਨੇ